Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Android 3.0 on um, the HTC Desire HD. It's going to open up. This is the lock screen. So you just uh, move this outside the circle to unlock it and then it loads up the home screens. Um, because the brightness doesn't work, the screen's a little bit dark so it may be hard for, for you to see. But you get an idea, these are the home screens. I've got a widget here. These are the favourite widgets. I could just scroll across there. I've got scrollable widgets. Not much else. Um, the camera doesn't work. Um, network connection doesn't work. SD card doesn't work, but it's still good. And down here, you could open up your clock. And if you tap um, right there, you could control your wireless settings. So you could turn aeroplane mode off, um, Wi-Fi. You could adjust the brightness, lock orientation, stuff like that. Then you got your back button here, your home button, and your button to bring up different tabs if you press that plus button at the top it opens this up and you could add widgets to the um, home screens or change wallpapers I don't know if that will actually work let's try change it no idea if that worked um, Let's go take a look at some of the applications that are pre-installed on there. Um, browser doesn't work when you try to open it up. It automatically closes. Like I said, it's a bit slow. It's a SDK. Uh, this is what the calculator looks like. Calculator works fine. No problems with that, but still, it's every, everything doesn't fit the screen properly. Um, let's go back. You got a clock. Let's take a quick look at that. Standard old um, Android clock. We haven't got no pictures to show the gallery. Um, let's take a look at the settings. These are what the settings look like. You got the wireless settings right here. Control your sounds screen applications um, etc if I go down to about phone don't know if you could see that but it does say Android 3.0 right there and um, yeah that's been about it this is honeycomb running on the HTC Desire HD I'll be sure to put a link to XDA so you could go download it and if you're rooted you could go um, flash it and just have a little play around with it. But it's not a stable ROM that you could use on a daily basis. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave your comments. Let me know what you think of Honeycomb if you like it or not. And subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.